With the completion of the Likud primary vote last night, the face of the Likud party has been changed. Here with political analysis is Yoni Kavinsky. Shalom, Yoni. So, as happens after any election, there have been some surprises, and the political scene has shifted. Could you tell us what exactly are the final results for the Likud primaries? Shalom, Aaron. Now, the results were not entirely unexpected. Uh, we have Gidon Saur, who uh, won the number two spot, with the first spot being, of course, reserved for Likud chairman Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, some of the uh, chairman's favorites did make the list, such as Sar and Erdan. Sar and Erdan are also considered part of the more nationalist part of the Likud. And in general, the Likud nationalists did well with spots 2 through 6 going to uh, would-be MK strongly associated with the national camp, uh, such as uh, Benny Begin and uh, Ruven Rivlin. But the main story of the election is Moshe Feiglin's success. Now, Feiglin leads Manigut Yudit, the Jewish leadership faction of the Likud, and of Manigut's five candidates, three, including Moshe Feiglin, made it onto the list. Though of the three, only Feiglin is in a spot almost guaranteed to win a seat following elections at number 20. Uh, of the other two Manigut uh, candidates who won, we have uh, Boaz Haetzni, he's the son of Eliakim Haetzni. He holds the number 36 spot, uh, with the Manigut candidate for the youth spot, Sagiv Asulin, uh, taking space 35. In fact, of the top 30 slots, uh, 15 are made up of candidates recommended by many nationalist groups, including Manigut Yudit, even though they are in other factions. The reason this is surprising is Netanyahu and much of the Likud establishment waged a campaign against Feiglin's even being in the party, let alone a candidate for Knesset. Uh, though some of the more nationalistic uh, factions in the Likud, such as Rivlin's, did support Manigut Yehudit. Ayoni, why was Bibi so strongly against Manigut Yehudit? Well, Aaron, it seems that what Netanyahu wants the Likud to be is a sort of a salad, a uh, little of the right, a little of the left, and a little of the center, nothing too strong, essentially. Uh, it'll be, he wants it to be a Kadima with a bit of uh, nominal ideology. But Feiglin takes a much harder line in regards to the land of Israel and the Jewish character of the state. Uh, Netanyahu doesn't want to be seen as uh, too harsh in, uh, because uh, he thinks it'll weaken the Likud in this uh, coming elections, and it'll worsen his uh, chances of, again, becoming premier. And if, if, if he, even if he will become premier, uh, maybe he fears that not as many Likud members will come into the Knesset. At the same time, Feiglin has already challenged Netanyahu for party leadership, so Netanyahu, of course, wants his rival weakened and kept out of the Knesset. It should also be uh, remembered that Netanyahu has already made clear he intends to continue negotiations with the PA. There's a policy Moshe Feiglin and the Likudniks he endorsed uh, are against. Netanyahu's camp is concerned that all these national representatives of the Likud, strengthened by Manigut Yehudit, their representatives, uh, might be able to prevent any deals creating an Arab state in Yehuda Shomron, Judea and Samaria. Now, how did Moshe Feiglin take the election results? Well, Feiglin went for magnanimity, saying it was time for the entire national camp to be united inside Likud. Uh, instead, he wants Likud to be a broad national movement. Feiglin also, not surprisingly, stated his satisfaction that most of the candidates on his list and the candidates he backed will be representing the Likud uh, in this coming elections. Now, what kind of reaction have we been getting out of Likud's rivals? Well, Kadima was actually pretty happy with the results, as Kadima is a power party lacking a specific ideology. They believe whichever party has the least controversial positions will win the elections. And, and as Likud voters brought nationalists uh, to key slots, Kadima believes this will strengthen the uh, weak position Kadima has come election day. Labor said the list means there is no chance to pursue real peace, specifically the labor policy of surrendering Jewish land uh, for promises of Arab peace. And the Socialist Merits Party they said that uh, this results makes uh, this an extremist list. Uh, that, in fact, was the most popular word being used, extremist. There was almost no attacks on specific policies, but instead the parties focused on how extreme the Likud list is now. Uh, will this tactic sway the voters? Only time will tell.